ClassPoint, as many educators know, is a PowerPoint integrated teaching tool for more interactive and engaging classrooms without having to switch between multiple tools during your lesson. It's all in PowerPoint. But did you know there's even more to it than just being a PowerPoint plugin? I bet only a few of you will recognize all 30 of these 30 creative ways to use ClassPoint in the classroom. Let's find out. Number one, streamline lesson planning with AI. There are many ways to use ChatGPT and AI in the classroom, but with ClassPoint, you can use AI to help add in that interactivity piece in your lessons with interactive quizzes generated and based on the information that you already have existing on your slide. Learn more about ClassPoint AI and creating these interactive quiz questions when preparing for your lesson with the link up above. Number two, build and teach using timelines. Within ClassPoint, we can open up a blank whiteboard slide to be inserted into our presentation and then begin constructing our timeline using different pens, shapes, and text boxes to help students understand the flow of events and actions. Or consider creating your timeline before class, but leave blank spaces to be filled in with suggestions by your students. You can use the class point name picker to call on one student at a time, or you can use the fill in the blanks question to get responses from all of your students. Incorporate revealing, matching, and sequencing activities. Employ draggable objects as visual aids to help facilitate your teaching. With the freedom to move any shape, text, or image around on your slide while presenting, you can use this for all sorts of fun activities, like revealing, matching, sequencing, and even labeling. Learn more about setting up draggable objects to employ this strategy. Number four, streamline creative and interactive discussions. Encourage your creative conversations in class by noting down what is said using your annotation tools. Or you can also save a student response and use that to jumpstart your discussion. You can annotate for any corrections, highlight any important pieces, or further elaborate on your content. You can also group your students and use the timer to allow for smaller group discussions before coming back together as a class to share. Number five, use ClassPoint for voting, polling, opinions, and surveys for ad hoc questions in your presentation. With Quick Poll, use a set template to get that feedback right away from your students. You can also use this to adjust the lesson if needed. Perfect for before and after class reviews too. Number six, game-based learning inside of PowerPoint. Transform popular games like Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud, and Jeopardy into fun, interactive PowerPoint activities using ClassPoint's tools. Take a look at this video to learn more. Number seven, level up your teaching by infusing gamification elements such as stars and levels to gamify the learning experience. Within ClassPoint, students can earn stars by participating in interactive questions, through the random name picker, and in the My Class window for other in-person activities or behavior management. As students are earning stars, they can also level up and their progress can be showcased on the leaderboard. Number eight, highlighting key points. Use the various annotation tools to highlight critical points on your slide and to direct students' attention without the need to erase any whiteboards. All of these annotations are saved directly on your slide, enabling you to refer back to them repeatedly throughout your lesson, or you can also use the share PDF feature to share it with students after class. Want to highlight your info but not save it? Use ClassPoint's laser and laser pen for your disappearing ink. Number nine, mind mapping and concept mapping. Use a blank whiteboard slide and your annotation tools to begin creating your map or have students submit their own. You can use the slide drawing question type or have students draw their mind map and upload an image with the image upload question type. Number 10, implement flipped classroom aspects. Make your flipped classroom approach more intuitive and interactive. Share materials before class with your students right inside PowerPoint using that share PDF feature. And then deepen your understanding during class with the interactive quizzes or those AI generated quizzes. Number 11, brainstorming sessions. Word clouds are particularly effective for brainstorming. Insert the top responses from your word cloud as a slide in your presentation for further discussion. You can add supplementary notes and details onto this to further the discussion with your class. 
Number 12, receive visual responses from your students. Students can submit visuals through slide drawing, image upload, or video upload. To ensure a comfortable environment for your students, consider the option to hide the participant names as they submit. Number 13, encourage music appreciation and learning. Incorporate music sheets, music videos, or other materials into your PowerPoint lessons using the embedded browser for easy access. Or you can also invite your students to submit their own audio files using the audio upload question type. Number 14, run formative assessments with automatic grading. You can continuously monitor your student progress and assess their knowledge with the multiple choice quiz mode questions. Once all the results are in and the question is closed, stars are automatically awarded, grading your students so that you can get real-time feedback to instantly adapt your teaching based on your students' understanding. Plus, all of this data and information can be downloaded and exported as an Excel report. Number 15, motivate students with competitions. You can also use the quiz mode for competitive review games and then showcase the leaderboard to show your students' standings. When you utilize a saved class, you can also track your students' progress not only within that current session, but also throughout the year, the quarter, or the semester, depending on how your class is run. Number 16, submit capstone projects right within PowerPoint. Students can conveniently upload their capstone in the format of videos or vlogs using video upload question type. This allows for easy sharing during a presentation, and after the presentation, you can get feedback from the whole class with a short answer question type or by leaving annotations right on your slide. Number 17, start with an icebreaker. Use word clouds or multiple choice questions as icebreakers to gauge your students' understanding, foster a warm, welcoming environment, and get their minds prepped for a day of learning. You can also click on any words um, in the word cloud or a bar in the multiple choice to see which students submitted that response. That way, you can ask them to further elaborate. Number 18, give instant feedback and rewards. Rather than having students wait for homework to be graded and then returned back, award stars in real time to provide that instant feedback during class. Number 19, initiate dynamic group discussions and activities. You can organize your students into groups with class points auto pick feature, or you can use class point grouping. This way, students can earn stars for their team and individually, and it helps you easily separate them into groups. When they're split into groups, you can also utilize the timer to keep an eye on how long those group activities are running for. And as always, minimize or maximize the timer depending on your needs. Number 20, bring real world examples into the classroom. You can use ClassPoint's embedded browser to go on virtual field trips, find real world examples, or explore videos without ever having to leave your presentation. Number 21, use ClassPoint to practice problem solving and critical thinking. Short answer questions allow for students to analyze information and articulate their own responses for all different kinds of activities, like classroom debates and think-pair-share exercises. You can also use the search bar to search for a particular word or phrase within your student submissions. Number 22, encourage objective peer assessments. Leveraging the capability to hide your student names, you can engage in respectful discussions as a class to provide constructive suggestions and feedback to classmates as a whole based on their responses. You can further solidify this unbiased approach by using the class point name picker to call on a student to give feedback. Number 23, challenge students' minds with puzzles. Use common, easy to learn PowerPoint techniques to craft an interactive puzzle right inside of PowerPoint. This can be solved without ever having to leave your presentation. You can select a student to come up to the board using the name picker, and then using draggable objects, they can go ahead and begin solving the puzzle. Number 24, ClassPoint can help build a well-managed classroom with well-timed lessons. Use the timer to keep track of lesson pacing, group work, and transitions for smooth classroom management. Number 25, share resources with students seamlessly. You can share your entire PowerPoint presentation or just specific slides, particularly those with the annotations or whiteboards on them with that share PDF feature. This way, students have easy access for review. Number 26, ClassPoint can help with advanced language learning with audio record for pronunciation and vocabulary practice and fill in the blanks for checking spelling and grammar. 
Number 27, promote confident self-assessment. Quick polls can be used to help students assess their own knowledge and understanding at various points throughout the lesson. Number 28, review homework assignments collectively. Students can submit their work through image or video upload so that you can see all the results in one place and review together as a class. Number 29, present with interactive diagrams. To cater to your hands-on and more visual learners, ensure to include interactive diagrams. That way you can help students see relationships and processes clearly. Lastly, number 30, employ exit tickets to end your lesson effectively. You can swiftly assess your student's understanding and gather feedback throughout all the various class point question types. If you want to reuse an exit ticket across all of your presentations, you can generate a slide and then designate it as a whiteboard background. That way you can use a quick poll question and reuse this slide whenever you need. And that is it, 30 ways to boost your teaching with ClassPoint. If you don't have ClassPoint yet, what are you waiting for? Download it for free at classpoint.io. Which tip are you excited to try first? Comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for more teaching hacks.